guys, it's Chantel with Wildberry Coping. And today I just kind of wanted to show off what I was working on while I was sick. <laughs> I've been sick the last couple of days and not really feeling too well. So I decided, hey, what better time to pick up a new hobby? <laughs> because this is how I am. <laughs> so I started cross-stitching. I had already ordered this, this uh, fabric and this particular pattern. And I was planning to unbox it for you guys the other day, but it arrived the day that I woke up feeling like. <laughs> and I was like, you know, when I'm sick, I want to do something, but I don't want to do anything. So I figured what better day, what better thing to have than to be able to sit there and cross stitch when I'm not feeling good. And it really helped. I, it took my mind off of it. I didn't just sit there and binge watch things on YouTube. I actually got to do something and feel productive while also recovering from not feeling well. I really, really like it. I am, um, this is the first time I've ever done cross stitching. And as you, as you know, I took the last few days off of recording. So this is like maybe three days worth of cross stitching, which is probably embarrassing for those of you who are avid cross stitchers. I'm sure you would get done with a lot more than this in that amount of time. But, you know, this is the first time I've ever done any cross stitching before. And... I probably shouldn't even show the back, but I love the way that it looks, even on the back, it's so cute. I definitely, definitely have a lot of practicing to do because I am sure that it shows that I am a beginner and, but I managed to do everything without any knots, which is good. I did catch a little bit of a area up here where I got tangled and I, I know I probably should have ripped it out, but I was already further than where I wanted to rip things out. And I was like, it's going to be the way it is. I think it can lay flat enough there that it won't be too big of a problem. It's a new hobby. It's something I've never done before. So it's going to have mistakes. And I think that's okay. That's all right for it to have mistakes. If I get too uptight about it, then it's never going to get done. I'm going to sit there and I'm going to pull stuff out and I'm going to pull stuff out and it's never going to get done. The other issue I ran into is I ended up putting in an extra stitch uh, right around here on my vines. And then I tried to make up for it and mirror it over here. But then that made me have to do things funky here. And it just kind of grew the problem rather than <laughs> <laughs> but I'm hoping it'll still turn out okay at the end. We'll see. Mine's definitely going to be a little different than the one that is in the package that, you know, is on the front cover. I also was, they have this very light brown for the vines and it's the same color for the vines down here on the pumpkins and I don't know what I was thinking I guess I wanted the brown to contrast with my pumpkin enough so I ended up picking up this really dark brown and <laughs> and it's way too dark I did the vines up here with it and my husband took a look at it and he's like why did you change the color of the vines they don't <laughs> and he suggested that I at least go back to a lighter brown for the pumpkin. So that's what I've done. The part that made me want to make it contrast more is the part where I'm going to put the lighter brown and darker browns up at the top. And that's just how it's going to be because I'm not 
ripping out all of this to change the color of to a lighter brown. But I think it'll be okay. I think it'll just look like that's how I meant to do it. It's a design choice. And then I'll do the darker brown down here at the bottom again, repeating it the same as what's at the top, like what they have. But I don't know. <laughs> I may not be very good at it, but it was at least relaxing. And it was something that I could do just sitting on the couch and not having to focus a whole lot or get up and go into my sewing room and do things. So I hope you enjoyed this. I guess this counts as floss tube. I guess that's what, what we call it with cross stitch. I don't know. I haven't, it's my first time, so I don't know much about it, but that's the update. That's where I'm at. That's what I'm working on. And I'm still going to be doing other sewing stuff. This is just for when I'm, when I could be doing nothing. So I have something that I'm doing because I've always got to be doing something, especially something creative. <laughs> All right. Thank you for coming and watching me ramble about not being able to cross stitch. <laughs> it was nice seeing you again. And I hope to see you again next time. Please don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Bye.